Women in Africa have continued to experience abuse in many forms, ranging from human trafficking, child marriage, prostitution, domestic violence, sexual and physical abuses, among others. Our correspondent Habibat Ajayi has more in this report. Many women in Nigeria are victims of one abuse or the other, especially in marriage. It is even more pathetic as some survivors who are well-educated prefer to bear their pains and keep silent with smiles. This is linked to the socio-cultural factors of the Nigerian society. 39-year-old businesswoman for Lakemi Adirile in Ogun State narrates her ordeal which started three days after her wedding ceremony. <laughs> When I got married, three days after, my husband sent me out as I'm four months pregnant. Due to the pregnancy hormones, he complained that I split on the floor. I was out and wholly covered with bathroom towel. As he locked all the doors, it was exactly 11.30, 2012, August 20. We tied the knot on the 17th, and he sent me out on the 20th of that month. It was such an unforgettable scenario. The boy is 10 years now. If I continue narrating it, it's a bad and sorrowful experience. In fact, this year, he left me and his three sons at home since January and came back end of April. He wasn't moved, no bother on how we survived. In this marriage, I'm wholly concerned during the future sake of the children and my old age because I want a glorious day ahead. If I decided to leave the marriage, my children's education might be affected. That's why I'm still enduring. For Dorcas Adiremi, she was taunted by societal pressure to remarry after the demise of her husband. She became a shadow of herself as she was faced with domestic violence. <laughs> I must not say my husband is providing. Even my caretaker is aware of my travel. Since three years I moved down to this area, my children and I are the ones paying the house rent. No difference compared to when I'm still a widow. Before I moved here, my husband and I used to fight that he didn't know when I got this apartment. At the former house, he paid 5,000 naira out of two years' house rent. Due to my mother's yelling, I listened to her to remarry. To avoid unnecessary relationship being a widow. Unfortunately, this is the pretty comment I have to face. It is whatever he brings, I call it. My friend even knows, 5k as usual. 5,000 naira for one month feeding with the children. He pays his child school fees. But the feeding and accommodation is nothing to him. I offer catering service from home, but I barely get jobs to do. Assuming I have a shop, it will have aid my contribution to the family. And it is whatever he brings, I call it. My husband is around this money. He has left for his friend's place. And as I sit here, I only drank cassava flakes last night. And people wouldn't know. I do think how many people will I have to discuss and complain my husband to. According to statistics from the Nigerian National Commission for UNESCO, violence against women in Nigeria increased sporadically to 297% from the onset of the COVID-19 lockdown, where couples had no choice but to stay with each other within. Now, first save yourself so that you can take care of your children. And then some will tell you it's because they want to have custody of the children. And so they want to stay in till the children can be able to say, I want to stay with mommy or daddy, or they want to have what they will take. Yeah. But if you don't have custody of that child today, don't worry. You can get custody of that child. That should even inspire you to challenge you enough to want to get certain things in place so that you can go back and fight for the custody of those children. This thing, there are individual differences. What somebody is going through 
and what the individual is going through is different from what other people might be able to tolerate. There is what we call a, a, a limit of elasticity. Everybody has their limit of elasticity. And when they feel they are stretched up to the point of breaking up, then, you know, my, my advice is that even if it's initial separation, until things get better and they now return, this is better. But if they feel they can cope, then they can still cope. In some states, agencies concerned with domestic violence have been set up to tackle the hydra headed problem. But watchers say the level of sensitization is still poor, making some women die in silence, especially at the grassroots level. Abibat Hajai, plus. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.